Hey there, thanks for watching. This is TK, the Appliance Guy Picker. And um, in this video, I'm gonna show you um, how to repair a microwave that is sparking. Now, if your microwave's sparking, this is not 100% um, the reason that it's sparking. There's several other things that it could be. Um, but this is one of the things you can easily check to see if this is the cause. Um, typically the way this is caused is the microwaves that have the little metal racks that go inside, um, those metal racks have clips that clip the rack in. And oftentimes what will happen is someone will put a bag of popcorn underneath the rack and as the popcorn pops it will push the rack up while it's clipped in and cause it to either, either that clip to either twist or move so that the microwaves going through the the microwave cavity are able to get to the metal behind the clip um, telltale sign of this is when you open up the microwave and one of your clips is all burnt up. If any of your clips are real burnt up, that's gonna be your telltale sign that you have an issue, this issue. Um, I did not show the actual removal of the clip. In the first part of the video, I show you what I use to remove it. But um, all you do is get some sort of pokey straight object. It could be a little flathead screwdriver, it could be a um, poker like I have in the video, but that's really the only tool you really need for this job. Um, secondly, you'll notice that um, I apply three coats of paint. Um, that's the bare minimum. I would not do any less than three coats. You could do four or five if you want to. Um, just make sure it looks good. Um, and also make sure you're not getting any runs in your paint because I, I, I do at times and what I'll do is just take a little rag or paper towel and wipe the run and then hit that area again. You'll also notice the optional hair drying method in between coats. All that is is a way to get the uh, paint dry quicker for your second, your next coat. Um, if you're doing this at home and you got plenty of time, then by all means, just take your time, give it a while, but the the way you know it's ready is by touching it and when it just feels just a little bit tacky, it's not wet, it's just kind of tacky, um, or just completely dry, you know you're ready for a second coat. But you don't want to put your coats on too quickly. Um, and then lastly, just insert your clip. It's just super, super easy repair. Um, if you're a DIYer and you're doing this at home, then, you know, it, it, it's not something you need a technician for. Um, they do call us out for it quite often, but it's su super easy. Um, so I hope this helps somebody. The uh, cavity paint is extremely important. You need to use microwave cavity paint. You can't just use any old paint. Um, your local appliance parts store should sell it. Um, but use microwave cavity paint. That's the uh, right stuff to use. Oh. My phone, my camera was moving a little there. Let's see if I can get it to stay. There we go. Whoa. Sorry about that. New, new camera set up here. All right. That looks even more weird. All right, but yeah, hopefully this video helps you. So like, comment, subscribe, and... um. I'm going to be bringing out some more videos here soon.